Hi, my name is Vic Ranieri. I'm a computer engineering major, and I'm lead engineer on this project. Kovacs. I'm an electrical engineer, and I work on the radar subsystem and electrical power subsystems. My name is Madison McDonald. I'm an industrial engineer, and my role on this team is the project manager. Hey guys, I'm Will Sheeswall, another mechanical engineer on the team, and I am the head communicator. Hello, my name is Ryan Delaney. I'm a mechanical engineer, and my role on the team is the scribe. Hi, my name is William McDermott. I'm a mechanical engineer, and my role on the team is head of purchasing. Hi, my name is Jim Snedekor. I'm a computer engineering major, and I'm the mediator on this project. This project's demand comes from the dangers of traversing ice during the winter. Each year, there's nearly 100 people in North America who die from falling through the ice. The reason that this product is not available on the shelves yet is because the material properties of the ice are incredibly varied from the density to the temperature. This makes the way ice forms on the same lake unique in every location. This makes it very difficult to determine if the ice is safe. The goal of this project is to design a device that can travel ahead of the user determining whether or not the ice is safe, and if it's safe, determining a path for the user to go on. We took that goal and defined some of our requirements that are necessary for our product. Some of these include the ice thickness range of measurements, statistical certainties of our results, and ergonomic limits to make the product realistic to use. The current design is the second iteration of this project. The original was designed by an MSD team in 2020. The original ice testing method was to use a forced load on the ice to directly test ice strength. The team saw many problems with this design. Uh, first and foremost, the weight and method of retrieval device would have made it very difficult to use. Sorry. This team's goal was to use the original idea, research, and materials while coming up with a more accessible solution. We were able to use their main ROV cage, wheels, motors, actuator, remote control, and integrate their test setup into the current rev. The method that this team has designed to test ice safety is twofold, using a radar to quickly inspect the ice composition then in more ambiguous ice areas to deploy a mini drilling auger to test ice strength directly. These testing methods are quick, taking less than 30 seconds on ice that is less than 5 inches thick. The ROV will weigh less than 30 pounds, and the user will be able to follow behind the ROV at a safe distance of 40 feet and have a constant readout from the radar about the ice path in front of them. Ice, ice, baby. Let's go! Let's go.